Events and Compromands. I'm Megan, the Youth Program Director here at UCC Keene, and we wanted to put together this video full of wishes and words of wisdom to celebrate each of you. I know it feels like the world is changing so rapidly right now, but I also hope you can hold how valuable that change can be. My wish for each of you is to move, as you move into the summer and beyond is to recognize the power of your own voice. I hope you take the time to think about that power, how you want to use it, I hope you celebrate it and use it to put words to what is in your heart and mind. You have so much to say and the world is waiting to hear from you. So thanks and best wishes. Hello, graduates and confirmands. I'm Bev Calden, music director at the church. And I send you congratulations to you from the friends of yours in the choir and in the bell choirs and the music arts committee. Some of you I know better than others. So I say a special hi to Patience with your lovely singing voice and also to Meredith, who is this year's winner of the Harris Music Arts Emphasis on Arts Scholarship. So that is a surprise and she is the winner. And also to the confirmation class, to the young women who a couple years ago were, were called the Singing Angel Girls. As you all launch yourself into being an adult, I want you to think about your church experiences and remember your mission trips. And now with the virus situation and the experience of watching this ugly racial tensions on the news every night, I want you to think about, here I am, Lord. I want to hear you sing the song, Here I Am, Lord. Your country and the world and God needs you. And the words are, and you'll be thankful that I'm not going to sing them. Uh, Here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? I have heard you calling in the night. I will go, Lord, if you lead me. I will hold your people in my heart. bless you and congratulations. Hi, this is Betty Christensen. I'm sending love and best wishes to all of you in the confirmation class and all of you graduates. So happy that you are part of our UCC Keene Church community and wish you all good things going forward. Bye. Good morning to our conferments, Meredith, Mia, Molly, Annie, and Willow, now you have completed sessions with your mentors. It is time to take your spiritual roots out into the world. You will continue to grow through your personal faith, your participation in justice, and your service to others. To our graduates, Taylor, Xander, Meredith, Jake, Frankie, Caleb, Patience, and Eric, if you were told as a senior in the fall, what your final months would look like, would you have believed it? Crazy, huh? Well, now you're here about to graduate, although not in the traditional way you thought. It has been a tough ending, but you have beautiful beginnings ahead. We wish you many, many warm thoughts from Sheridan, Jake, David, and myself, Jenny. We wish you the best. Love to you all. Congratulations to the graduates and the confirmands at the United Church of Christ in Keene. I'm delighted to be able to have spent some time with some of you, including uh, Meredith Lewis, uh, one of the confirmands, who has done a wonderful job 
making the transition during this very difficult time to a different school at University of Central Florida, where she will be attending this fall, as well as making contributions in the area of the environment and the arts. I also would like to give a shout out to Patience Kaira, who is uh, graduating from Smith College, and Patience, I have enjoyed and cannot believe it has been four years that you've been uh, at Smith. So I wish you well, and I wish all of the graduates and confirmands many blessings. We're here for you. Thank you for being part of our community. Hi, my name is Cindy McGrath, and I've been coming to and have been a member of this church all my life. I don't know any of you very well, but I had three daughters that went to school and graduated here in Keene. So I do understand that this is a very special and important time for you. So congratulations on all your varied achievements. Although the celebrations and events that normally happen at this time of year look different this time around, it is still time to celebrate. Some people will say how sad it is that you didn't get the same experiences that others have had. And I don't deny the disappointed feelings you may be having right now. However, through all of this pandemic and continued racial tensions that have changed things for your celebrations, what I can see are the positive changes in the world that can come from all of this. Your generation and the ones coming right behind you are going to be instrumental in building our country and world into a place where all are well and treated fairly and equally, just as we strive to be and do at the UCC. So do celebrate however you can this month and then celebrate what you will mean to people around you as you pursue your goals. I once read a couple of quotes that I thought would be good to share with you right now. The first one is, things turn out the best for people who make the best out of the way things turn out. I think that, we, that could be applied to any part of your life. And finally, your life is your story. Now you have a chance to begin to fulfill your purpose and potential. So congratulations and be well. Hi, Taylor, Xander, Jake, and Meredith. Wanted to join everyone in wishing you a, and congratulating you in your high school graduation and wishing you the best of luck as you head off wherever you're going um, from Keene and, and UCC Keene. And also Mia and Annie and Molly and Willow, um, congratulations on your affirmation of faith and confirmation class completion. We're so proud of you and um, just grateful to all of you for your presence in our church. I was trying to find some wisdom. I'm not full of them myself right now, but I'm borrowing from um, a wonderful person, Thomas Merton, who you may have heard of, who was a Trappist monk and, monk and got very involved in the civil rights movement and called that nonviolent, um, the nonviolent civil rights movement, the greatest example of Christian faith in action in the social history of the United States very, uh, very important in our current situation. What he said was, and I want to pass on to you, and I'll send you in the mail too. His words are, "Do not need you do not need to know precisely what is happening or exactly where it is all going. What you need is to recognize the possibilities and challenges offered by the present moment and to embrace them with courage, faith, and hope. That's uh, Thomas Merton. And indeed, we don't know where we're going. We're living in a time of tremendous challenge and uncertainty. And um, I just have to say from getting to know you, at least to the extent that I have, um, I can't imagine young people more well-prepared and, and talented and creative and fun <laughs> and, um, and loving um, to to lead the way. So best of luck to all of you. And I hope to see you in the fall um, for those of you who are sticking around. All right, bye-bye. 
Hello, confirmands and graduates. I don't know all of you. I know some of you through church activities, but I wish you all the luck of the world. And you can do it. I know you can. The world is changing, but you're still flexible. You'll make it work. And thanks for being associated with our church for as long as you have. Good luck. Hi, it's the Pitts family. We just wanted to wish our church family graduates and confirmants. Congratulations. Best wishes. And good luck in the future. We look forward to the day when we'll be able to tell you that in person. Much love to you all. Good morning. This is Ann McCune wishing all of the confirmands and the graduates success as they move forward from this momentous day in their lives. I want to wish you all the really best, and my words of wisdom would be to just always try to do the right thing. I think Woody often said it best when he said just, he used Micah 6, uh, Micah 1, 6, to do, to do everything with justice, love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. And always from me, I just say, be as honest as you can and just be kind to everybody and just um, be the best of yourselves. We all have our weaknesses, but we also have our strengths. And I trust that you will allow God to use your strengths to further his kingdom in this world. Best of luck to all of you. Congratulations to all our 2020 graduates. You're a wonderful group of young people, and I look forward to seeing how your lives unfold. I'm gonna borrow from Life's Little Instructions, a poster hanging in my home for some words of advice. Never waste an opportunity to tell someone you love them. Leave everything a little better than you found it. Be forgiving of yourself and others. Be there when people need you. Count your blessings, and my mother's favorite, call your mother. Follow your passions, find joy, and best wishes to all of you on your journey. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020, from the Lewis family, including Cleo. Confirmands, I hope that you've enjoyed just this little video tribute from some of our members on behalf of all of our members who are so proud of you uh, for all that you've accomplished for the people that you are. We'd like to think that the strong faith that you nurtured here at UCC Key played an enormous part in that. And please, we want you to know how excited we are about everything you will bring, not only to your friends and your families, but to the world and the church to come. My advice to you is probably don't believe any of the advice. Um, the notion that do everything right and your dreams will come true. Um, I've never known that really to be true. I think uh, my path certainly has included many, many twists and turns, including going from a degree in business management to ministry. What a wonderful, wonderful gift of fate. <clears throat> and so my advice is to keep your heart open, keep your values clear, do what's right in the sight of God, and you will end up in a magnificent place that you can't even imagine right now. Uh, again, we are so proud of the young adults that you are, the choices that you're making in your lives. Um, and I send my sincere love and blessings. I wish I've known you all far longer than the four years that I have. Uh, but I am looking forward to staying in touch in the years ahead. So God bless you. Be proud of your accomplishments. Stay open to the future. I guarantee you it will be full of surprises you never see coming. And uh, hang on to your faith and your values and your commitments and all will be well. 
Best of luck to you. Pastor Cindy signing off. Mm-hmm.